Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, this is Alex, and this is The Ramble, and we go until midnight tonight on the East Coast of the United States of America. Hello, everybody. How are you? It is time now to uh, begin our little program here, and uh, hope that we're... Uh, we're ready to go, and uh, everything's going to be just fine. Uh, let me see here. i got to change the view on this to gallery, and i got to get rid of that. And I think we're ready to go. Oh, God. You, you take you, Oh, that's, the San, that's San Francisco. I see. That's, that's the Bay Bridge. This is one of my photographs. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, took it at night, long exposure, and it was a special night. See mm -hmm. that moon? Mm -hmm. It was when the moon and the sun actually uh, uh, covered one another, but uh, you had the uh, you had the light coming around it. it was, as that's it, not as Photoshop. That's actually yeah. what it was. As it says there, it's Phil Meyer, well, ladies and gentlemen. He's here. How are you, Phil? Hey, I'm. Uh, you know, going through uh, the usual stuff. I think my eyesight is uh, is is going bad. I, I think I need a cataract surgery. Mm. Mm. Okay, that's no big deal. Yeah, uh, because everything is everything's kind of dark. I mean, uh, it's no, that's it's, not cataracts. No, at night. Cataract is. I had cataract. I had both eyes done for cataracts. Yeah. And and it's like a blurriness that's a, that you get in the center of the eye or in, well, a, or in your field of vision. Uh, for the last several years, they keep telling me it's not ripe. That's it. I'm, that's it. That's it. When they right. say it's not ripe, that's their favorite term. You're yeah. you're not you're not ripe. I'm not yeah. a melon, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so they. Uh, but uh, what's happening? And and for years at mm -hmm. night, I've always had. Uh, diminished eyesight. Mm -hmm. uh, now it's getting a little worse. Well, I'm just tired all the time. Tonight I'm exhausted. I don't know why. I have no idea. Um, I, I think last night I did not sleep well. Yeah. You know, but I mean, I'm just, I'm just exhausted. You don't have that Epstein Barr thing, do you? N no, no. Uh, I have the yeah, Epstein. Epstein Ep I, you I, know, have, Epstein. I have Epstein Gates. Oh, Gates. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now he he he's he's going to take a hit, but uh, what do you mean? Who's going to take a hit? Uh, Bill Gates. Well, for what? Well, uh, you know, if he's going to separate, and I guess it's his wife's idea. He was hanging around with Epstein, the other half of the Epstein well, bar. You know, look, uh, you got to remember, uh, Jeffrey Epstein was a glad hander. I mean, he was always trying to hang out with famous people and so on and, and ingratiate himself to them and so on. So, I mean, just because he ingratiated himself to somebody doesn't mean they were suddenly screwing young kids, you know? So Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, but they named the disease after him and uh, <laughs> yeah, right. named the comedian Barr. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right, right. You know, I mean, not everybody gets a disease named after them. No, no, and it's... It, it, uh, I uh, yeah, it would be. I would love. Wouldn't you love to have a, a disease named after you? Yeah. Well, uh, Myers uh, syndrome. Yeah, Myers syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> I think there is a Myers syndrome. Is there really? Yeah. Oh. I, you know, there's a syndrome for everything. Okay. All right. Hey, has the uh, pipeline thing affected you at all, or is no, it starting? No. To? You, no. 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 And yeah. I wouldn't know anyway because I don't have a car and I don't buy gasoline. Yeah, and. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you pay utilities uh, like uh, electric? Yeah. Okay. I and pay gas. Con Ed still uh, got the Indian Point uh, nuclear plant, or uh, is I, that? I don't on? know if that's open any longer. Yeah. Tell you the truth. Yeah. You know. Well, I, now I know what happened to me in 1965. 
uh, my father bought a boat. Mm-hmm. And we came on the Hudson River in yeah. Montreal, uh, not Montreal, in Montrose. Mm-hmm. And uh, every once in a while, we'd go out and uh, jump off the boat into the, into the water. And the water was warm. Uh, where uh, near the Indian Point, uh, uh, where they'd wash out the nuclear waste. I nuclear, guess. nuclear. So anyway, Not there was a, there was all these dead fish that used to come up, yeah. and we used to oh, say, yeah. "Oh, yeah, it's because the water is is warm." But mm-hmm. I I dove in that water, or I dr- I swam in that water, mm-hmm. and uh, it's yeah. Know. So now that now they've closed it down. Yeah. So what's new with you? Well, uh, let's see. I uh, the end of the month, I'm going to a shooting academy uh, in Pahrump, Nevada. Pahrump. So Pahrump. Yeah. Pahrump. So that's. Uh, I, I guess that's a famous place. Uh, is that where that Art Bell? Yeah, Art from? Bell used to do a show out of Pahrump. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't think there's much there. Just desert. No, it's and- it's pretty much. Uh, uh, somebody once described it as uh, it's not the middle of nowhere, but you can see it from there. Yeah, that's, you know. I think that's what uh, Jim from Canada used to say. Yeah, no, I used to say it. Oh, you say it? No, I yeah. got it from somebody. Jim, Jim didn't come up with that. No, it was. That's a good one, though. Yeah, uh, but uh, um, uh, you know, I mean, it was, uh, it, so so you're going to Pahrump for a now. This isn't photographic shooting. This is gun shooting. This is gun shooting. You Ford are going in- all the way to Pahrump, Nevada, to shoot a gun. Yes. Uh, I think it's going to be around 10 hours drive if I don't stop too much and uh, each way. Oh, God. And, uh, you know, I, I've i been uh, kind of looking forward to it. Why? And, well, it's, uh, it's educational, you know. And uh, How is it educational? Stick uh, finger on trigger, pull. Uh, yeah, well, there's a little bit more to it than that. Okay, put it on shoulder, pull. <laughs> or hold it in hand and pull. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll what, see. What do you have to learn in order to shoot a gun? Well, it's a matter of overcoming uh, uh, counterproductive habits. So, for like, instance, like shooting somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to definitely make sure it's somebody else. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, there, there are certain fundamentals, and when you have someone watching what you're doing, they mm-hmm. can fine-tune your uh, skill level. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's very basic to do, but it's very easy to do counterproductive things. I see. So you, you're going there. And that, so we're going to have to pre-record, are we? Uh, yeah, unless you think that the uh, Internet, while I'm driving from Pahrumpf to Walnut oh. Creek, will... Uh, uh, give you. You're, uh, you're assuming they have. Well, they, internet they don't, service they don't have internet at the range, but uh, the nicest hotel in Pahrump is the Holiday Inn uh, Suites. Well, <laughs> so, it's not even the full hotel; it's the suites. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. Uh, I don't. I I assume you know they've got breakfast. Uh, although I have to be at the range at six a.m. And it's about a half hour drive. Why do you have to be there at six a.m.? The early bird gets the bullets. What? Yeah. And well, that's that's their deal. You know, they start early. I think it's because it's hot, and uh, it, you can get a lot of work in uh, early in the morning mm-hmm. be- uh, before it becomes uh, an inferno. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It gets pretty hot out there. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, Anyway, that's uh, that's what I'm doing towards the end of the month. Uh, right now, uh, business is uh, uh, it's a little slow. I think it's because of tax time, and uh, and all your customers are dead. Yeah, and you know what <laughs> the uh, the the stock market's having some ups and downs. Uh, the stuff that's going on in Israel. Wait, uh, the stock we, market is having some ups and downs. Uh, it, it is yeah. the best it's been ever. Yeah, but this is this is, it's getting ready uh, to implode. Oh, I see. Is that what they're is that what they're saying over at Fox? Yeah, what <laughs> you've got all this in, uh, coming inflation. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you're living on a fixed income. You don't you don't want inflation. But my uh, income's never been fixed. <laughs> it's, it's pretty well it, in disarray. 
Yeah, <laughs> but it, it's fixed with Social Security. Yeah, uh, it's fixed with uh, a, a pension. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, of course, you, you're uh, lucky that you have an earner in the family. I think that they call you a Mac Daddy. A when, Mac Daddy? Uh, is that it? OK. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when, when you send a woman out to earn. Yeah. But, uh, you know, these things aren't going to bode well. The interest rates are going to go up. Uh, and now, if where you have, are you hearing? You're hearing this from uh, what? Who is it? Kramer? Uh, well, Kudlow. I, I like Kudlow. Kramer. Larry Kudlow. I like Kudlow too, but yeah. I like Kramer. He rolls up his hands. Yeah, no, but, no, but, but Kudlow. You're, Kudlow. You're listening yes, to I Kudlow. Hear. Yeah, he's going to say everything bad he can. Oh yeah, the world's going to hell in a handbasket. By you know. Well, you don't. You don't think no. that these trillions of no, dollars? No, that, no, no, because. Go over to, I, I'm, I'm saying this because you, you're not going to like him, but uh, go over and watch John Oliver from a couple of weeks ago. He explained what the national debt is and why it isn't horrible. Okay. Can you summarize, uh, summarize uh, a little bit of what he said? Uh, it's kind of hard to summarize. I mean, I want to go back and watch it again so I can get it. But they say, he says that, Having a debt is, uh, there's a difference between the debt and the deficit. Yeah. Um, and uh, he said the national debt, you know, they have that debt clock and so on. It's not a bad thing. It, it does, it's nothing that you can't overcome because, quite frankly, if you don't got the money, you print it. Well, yeah, but that makes everybody else's money worth no, a lot less. No, no, it doesn't. Remember uh, those pictures of uh, people with, uh, 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 a truckload of uh, yeah, Deutsch well, Phil, Parks Phil, trying to get Phil, some bread. Phil, it, 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 when you want to talk about spending, what uh, this president is doing now is minor comparison to what Trump did when he was in office. When he I, gave, when he, and that money wasn't going, wasn't trickling down to the uh, the average person. It was being done for the benefit of the rich in this country, and it didn't help in the least. It cut everybody's taxes. No, it cut everybody's taxes to a very minor extent. And, and wait a minute, let me finish. And they say that the effect that they say it's supposed to have, oh, because uh, the uh, rich people are, 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 are getting a tax break and they're going to spend it on hiring new people and so on, didn't happen. Well, I, I, they must have because unemployment went to its lowest level in 50 years, including black unemployment and Latino unemployment. Mm -hmm. So they must have uh, put a lot of people to work. I, I, for one, cannot hire a salesperson. I, I have had an ad running. I've spent thousands of dollars. Well, that's because nobody wants to work for you. Well, that's true. But uh, <laughs> they, they don't know me yet, you know, and I got good Yelps. Uh, yeah. So, you know, but... Uh, you know, the, the idea is I can't hire anybody. I, we've had ads running. I've had a professional service mm. placing ads so that, you know, they would do the initial interviews and yeah. so forth. Uh, no responses. Been a couple months. No responses. And if you. Why, why is that, do you feel? Uh, because what I'm hearing is that uh, because benefits like unemployment and uh, the extra benefit the given to unemployed mm -hmm. uh, uh, are are such that people are saying, hey, for that kind of money, I'll sit at home. No, but and, I don't think that the average person is going to say that because the amount of money they're going to make by sitting at home and collecting the government dole is nowhere in comparison what they could make just even working for a cheapskate like you. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, the the these uh, these other businesses. I mean, there's a McDonald's that was on TV the other day, and they had a sign up, and they said, we, we can't hire anybody. We are apologizing for the slow service. Well, it's always slow service, but they, they were apologizing for the slow service. What's because slow service at McDonald's? You go up to the counter, they give you stuff. What's yes, slow about but that? now there's nobody at the counter. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, so uh, you may not be seeing all of these things, but as a person that is is being actually affected yeah. by uh, by the, you know, I want to take a day off. I have to work six days a week. The only way I get a day off is to close the store. Uh, th these four days that I or five six days that I'm actually going to uh, to uh, Pahrump, mm -hmm. uh I'm I'm worried that 
everybody's going to quit, <laughs> you know, because they'll have to work when they normally get a day off because I'm taking a little yeah, bit well, of time. Well, I don't, you know, you, you should just hope that everything that's being done right now is going to actually be good for you. And I think it, in the end it may be because it may be putting more money in the pockets of people. And uh, uh, the um, un uh, unemployment, I think, has gone down, hasn't it? Uh, it's still pretty high. It has gone down. Yeah, it's uh, gone down. Uh, although the jobs numbers that came out for Biden were not as expected. Well, not as, as, as expected because I, it, it's not going to be a fast rebound from COVID. Okay, COVID had a lot to do with the, uh, with the problems with the, you know. But, you know, there are there are thousands of businesses that want to hire, myself included, and you and you can't. Uh, I just don't know, know why people wouldn't want jobs. Yeah. You know, I, this is what they're this is what is being said. The reason that they're not working is because they're getting enough on the unemployment to offset. Uh, work. But, but they're not going to get unemployment for that long. OK. Been, and today, I think, but didn't Biden say something to the extent that if you aren't looking for work, then you can't get unemployment? Right. So yeah. people say, hey, uh, you hiring? Yeah. OK, thanks. Boom. They looked for work. Well, <laughs> and, you, know, uh, you know, sometime in, in, in there were days when uh, not this time, but uh, prior to, uh, recessions mm -hmm. that I tried that I tried to hire and uh, people would make an appointment for uh, an interview and they wouldn't show up. All they needed to do was say they called such and such a business yeah. and uh, and that they looked for work, but yeah. they didn't want any. Yeah. Well, you know, the, the other thing that's that's going on is um, you can't get product mm -hmm. uh, par partially because of covid mm -hmm. uh, the the gasoline. They're saying that the trucks now, Kevin could uh, talk about this later, but they're saying that the, they don't have truck drivers to drive the tanker trucks to deliver the gasoline. And uh, that's uh, that's one of the problems hmm. that they're having uh, now uh, all throughout the, the eastern seaboard of uh, Virginia down to Texas mm -hmm. uh, there, there are uh, airplanes they, they can't they have pipeline connections to for jet fuel mm -hmm. they can't get it because of the uh, cyber attack okay let, let me, let, let's uh, let's for a moment get over this uh, hating of of Biden for a moment what that what's that have to do with Biden this has to do with the Russians attacking well us. that's because we can't, <laughs> Come on, those are Trump's friends. Anyway. Well, they got him elected. Uh, so, uh, you know, I have uh, a, a company that I deal with that had a, um, uh, what do you call it, an attack uh, on their computers. They, they shut them down. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, and uh, they've been down for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And they want, uh, it's a ransomware thing. Mm -hmm. And they haven't paid the ransomware, but they're, uh, they, they've been totally crippled and having nine before they had like 900 computers at their offices uh, and none of them were able to even tell you if something was in stock, ship you something. Uh, I sent them yeah, a but check. The thing, is, the thing is that these companies should have been doing something all along to prevent this from happening, but they just didn't have the right IT guys handling it. Well, that, that's a that's a possibility, you I mean, know. I mean, uh, there's got to be a way to keep these people from hacking your company. And and um, uh, was it a smaller company or was it a large company? Uh, it's the third largest uh, carpet manufacturer in the nation. Why would hackers go after them? I don't know. They, they do about a billion and a half. Mm, I'm just wondering why they would go after them. Well, they wanted money. They want uh, whoever hacked them uh, and the money had not been paid. This was a ransomware thing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they wanted money and they and they shut them down. I wouldn't now, pay. I wouldn't pay it. Would you? Uh, well, uh, I told them that I only wanted a dollar. Well, they're never going out after Phil's account anyway. Well, no, no, no. I, I told the company, I said, just send me the dollar seventy nine and I'll give you the code. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't care.
you know, it's like like Bubbles has said any number of times. You know, I don't care if somebody steals my identity, then they'll have no life. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. I mean, um, uh, I just, but I, I do think that it's important that these companies not give in. And there are ways of getting yourself back online and cleaning yes. up the situation. It's a little more expensive. I don't know what would be more expensive, paying the ransom or getting the thing fixed, but, you know. Well, if you pay the ransom, there's no guarantee they're going to fix it. You know, uh, Right. You know, it's like paying the ransom and they supposedly, say, I'll return. Su supposedly, they've oddly enough been honorable that way in the past, that you give them the, you give them the money and they send you the key. Oh, you know. So there is honor amongst thieves. Well, yeah. Otherwise, otherwise, if they tried this on any number of other people, they would not succeed at it because people would go, well, they screwed the last people, you know. Well, look how vulnerable we are as a nation. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I don't think what happened in Texas to the to the grid mm -hmm. was due to hacking because there was a weather issue. Uh, and uh, they didn't. They didn't expect. No, it. well, the it's, thing, the thing with the consolidated pipeline, I think it's called. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a consolidated pipeline was a hack, and yeah. they were h held up for money. Yeah. yeah. So uh, there's no question about that. Now they're saying that it was that they believe it was a Russian hackers called Dark Star or Dark something. Dark Star. Yeah. 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 And yeah, that sounds like a beer. <laughs> You know, it's an IPA. You know, but I mean, it, 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 it you, you can't give in to these guys that easily. You know, uh, you can't make it worth their while. No, know? I, I know, but it's uh, there's a lot of pain. You look at the Israelis; they never negotiate for hostages, uh, and we never used to negotiate for hostages. Now people pay the ransom uh, left and right. Well, that's and up to the individuals who are being asked to but uh, still the common th theory is you do not pay ransom yeah. and the reason you don't is that it only encourages more activities like that you know yeah um, well it's it, they're getting uh, uh, very um, uh, blatant in their uh, in their thing and it's yeah. happening more and more so let, uh, let me ask you this let me ask you this let's, let's change subject here a second uh, what, what, what's your thinking over about uh, what's her name about uh, Liz Cheney, um, uh, you know, I don't. She voted the way she was elected to vote the way she voted. Uh, you know that they gave her the opportunity to do it, whether it was uh, Mitt Romney, Liz Cheney, uh, or any of the others that voted for uh, uh, Trump's impeachment. Mm -hmm. Now, I can understand not being happy uh, with what she did, but I don't think that they should uh, I don't think that they should uh, take her off her committees uh, as a punishment I think. well I don't think she should be punished at all I mean I and I you know I find myself in a rather weird position because she's not one of my favorite politicians okay she's being used though you but know. she what she's being used by the left because it's, no, she's uh, not being used by the left uh, I think where the left is fault. where the left is sympathetic I'll tell you where I'm sympathetic as a leftist to her because she has principle. It may not be my principle, but she has conservative principles, and these fly in the face of her conservative principles. Same thing so, with you, with Mitt Romney. How yeah. long will it be until they call her the daughter of a murderer? You know, uh, the this is this is just you. Know, you give somebody a little bit of rope, you 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 you, you weaken them within their party, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden. When uh, when they think they're going to be loved by somebody else, mm -hmm. hey, you know, you and your father, murderers, you know, you look what you did in Iraq. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what the left says about the Cheneys. So, well, no, but I mean, as I say, we have no great love for the Cheneys. However, I will always stand by I, like I if, for instance, Patrick, I disagree with Patrick's politics, but I admire him for his consistency in his politics. He's, yeah, he's, he's, always, he, he's always sitting down on the job. He, he calls himself a, a conservative, and he is a true conservative. And and she says the same thing. She's a conservative, and she lives up to those principles. You know. Yeah. So well, uh, yeah, I I think uh, people rushed to judgment 
yeah. on uh, January 6th. And even though uh, everybody rushed saw to what they wanted to Rush to judgment? Did you, yeah. did you see what happened at the Capitol? Yeah, it wasn't Trump's fault. Oh, it wasn't Trump's fault. Uh, right. uh, what what were the words I heard? Uh, I uh, go, march down to the Capitol. I'll be going with you. That was right. the big lie. Was I'm going with you? The coward the, wouldn't even go with them. What about the peaceful part? You know, uh, he didn't that, say anything about peacefully. Oh yeah, you didn't want to hear that part. Well, what part? I didn't hear the peacefully. Yeah, yeah. He said peaceful. Go oh, down no, and make no, you. No, no, no. He didn't. No, he didn't. He, he uh, said, yeah, no, no, march yeah. down there and tell them what you think." I heard peaceful. And then you also had that uh, that scumbag Giuliani give a speech before it in which he was even more rabble rousing. Yeah. You know. Oh, talking about Giuliani and yeah. New York. Yeah. Uh, it looks like uh, Andrew Yang mm -hmm. was in uh, good stead to possibly win as mayor. Uh, you know, I kind of liked Andrew Yang. I thought he was uh, mm -hmm. forward thinking. But there's a guy from Brooklyn, uh, Eric Adams. He was a uh, police captain. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he happens to be black. Mm -hmm. uh, he's running as a Republican. And there's a really good chance he's going to be your next mayor. Mm -hmm. And I think he's gonna, if he wins, he's going to be a great well, mayor. Well, I want to know just Andrew Yang. Number one, he, he's running all these ads. Oh, I had my kids. We were born in, in New York City and blah, blah, blah. He doesn't. But he really, he was more of, a, if I'm not mistaken, a denizen of the West Coast. I don't know. And more particularly, I think Oregon, but I may be wrong. But uh, uh, but Marjorie said this to me tonight, and she was absolutely right. She said, what does he know about running a city? And the answer is, yeah, big goose well, egg. Well, uh, you know, but... Uh, Talking about other people that are going to possibly be running for stuff, there's a guy named uh, Rich, uh, Rick Grinnell or Richard Grinnell, uh, who was um, uh, a uh, an ambassador. But I looked at his education today. He's he's thinking about running for governor of uh, California. Mm -hmm. Although I think our friend Mr. Newsom is going to buy the vote. First of all. He's going to send he, he, he all of a sudden discovered a seventy five billion dollar slush fund. Mm -hmm. So now he's going to send out uh, checks to uh, to everyone uh, in yeah. California. Hey, uh, he can buy me. Yeah. Well, he wants uh, to be. I'm sure you'll I'm sure you'll cash the check. My address. You can I, I think you'll there. cash the check. You know, yeah. so, I, uh, think, and, I think and, that whole thing is really stupid. And and, and by the way, do you see what they found out about Caitlyn Jenner? Uh, she's a man? No. She didn't vote in 2020. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Didn't vote in 2020. Well, uh, I didn't know that. Didn't, didn't vote because she believed that uh, the state was going to go for, uh, for Biden anyway. That was her attitude. Rather well, than, hey, I'll be a good citizen and I'll vote. Yeah. yeah. Well... I I understand uh, you know what you were saying, but that's why I vote uh, just to counter that. Yeah. That's why I voted for Perot uh, because I figured that if mm -hmm. if you didn't and yeah. you know I know that gave Clinton the opportunity to win, but I thought Perot was a pretty stand up guy, and yeah. uh, so I voted for him. I mean, they try to make him uh, you know a crazy man, but uh, yeah. he was. Yeah, you know. Hey, listen, uh, we gotta we gotta go here because there are people that want to talk. Yeah, uh, th th you know, I I guess at least it looks like it. Yeah, know. one one thing, uh, are you going to talk at all about this uh, uh, critical race theory, uh, where uh, uh, people are you know, saying that, you know white privilege? And do you remember a couple of years ago there were people washing other people's feet uh, because they uh, uh, felt that uh, they they had too much privilege. Well, what's the point you're trying to make here? Well, what I'm trying to do is uh, create some conversation for your next hour. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's that's what I was asking. If you had any ideas or uh, uh, throw around on that? Uh, no. You know, I mean, uh, I mean. There's a lot for, you know, I, I, I've spent a lot of my life feeling, feeling guilty for having white privilege. You know, I've understood the nature of it. 
but and I've done everything I can to compensate for it by helping and saying things that are right and trying to, you know. So anyway, hey, listen, we better go here. Okay, just one thing: we're we're all dealt a different hand, and you know we get dealt the hand that we get dealt. Yeah, but it it shouldn't be. What's how am I supposed to put this? We get dealt a hand, but it shouldn't be an unfair hand, you know? I mean, if we get dealt a hand because of our own uh, uh, personal problems, let's say, that's one thing. When it's being forced on you, when you're being uh, not being given the, the, the same advantages as other people, that, that there's something wrong with that. Everybody in America, everybody should have an equal chance. Well, that's Marxist. <laughs> no, that's not Marxist. It's called the American dream. Right, well, you know. Dream, one thing. Anyway, you have a good time. Uh, I'll go wash some feet and uh, go we'll wash talk. some feet. We'll see you later, <laughs> ladies you and later. gentlemen. There goes Phil Meyer, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, oh, there he goes. Anyway, it's time now for us to talk to our uh, to our uh, citizen panel, and I will admit the ones who are there, which are just a handful here, but we'll see if anybody else joins us this evening. Um, you know, uh, I noticed that uh, 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 Brian Neary was there a while ago, but then he disappeared. I don't know where he went. Probably fell asleep. Yeah, probably fell asleep. Listening to Phil and you argue. Uh, what do you mean argue? We weren't arguing. We were having oh, okay. a, a we were having a a discussion. You love Trump. You hate Trump. That's obvious, uh, no, and that's it, okay. It, I think we all hate Trump on your show here, but you know. Well, that's why I have him on. You know, oh. to balance things a little bit. You know. Well, you have me on to balance things a little bit too. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, is anybody else going to call or can I sign this thing off early and go to sleep? Yeah, good night. Good night. Uh, yeah. Well, this lady that they want to replace Liz Cheney with voted for Trump's stuff less than Liz Cheney wait, did. Zoom.us interrupted shut down. Uh, oh, that's uh, uh, alert from log. Jeff having a problem. Yeah. US interrupted shut down. What the heck? Alert from logging window. Bink. What? Now it seems to be gone. Mm -hmm. what, whatever it was. Something about U.S. logging. Oh, now Jeff's gone. Now we lost Jeff. Okay. Well, anyway. But we gained Larkin. What we gained Larkin. <clears throat> so. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, how you guys doing? Good. Okay. You're all right? a hard week. Huh? I had a hard week. You so had only Tuesday. Uh, it was a rough week for me after that shot on Friday. Oh, I was really? really? Sick. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just headache and fever and aching. Mm -hmm. It was nasty. I'll show you a shot I got. See that black and blue mark there? Ooh. Wow. See that? Cortisone. That, cortisone. Yeah. I went okay, my... now though, John. Right? Yeah, I'm feeling good now. Yeah. I'm, your I, hair went gray. <laughs> I went and had my cortisone shot, and uh, man, that but that if if they if uh, the COVID uh, vaccinations hurt like that, nobody would get them. You know, I mean, boy, I mean, it is. I, I, I don't it is. know. I've had a cortisone shot in me, in my knees, in yeah. my shoulder, in my yeah. elbow recently, and. In my right hand for carpal tunnel, and none of them hurt. None of them hurt. Yeah. This thing yeah, hurt yeah. like a motherfucker. Yeah, the needle go in, and in like in a big joint, like in your knee or your shoulder, the needle is is a, a big gauge because they pump a lot of cortisone in. Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, it's not like getting kicked in the balls or anything. Well, I don't uh, look. I'm pretty good at getting shots. Okay, I'm great at having blood drawn. You know. Uh, I, I, it's that none of those things are problems to me. Okay. Um, but this thing, I remember the last time I had it and this time pretty much in the same area and they start it and it goes in and I go, yeah, fine. It goes in yeah. And then all of a sudden I'm going, this is getting bad. And then finally I'm just going, Ooh, you know, I'm making noises. And that, that I, usually that's not the case with me. You yeah. Know? Okay. Well, I've never had more fragile. 
What'd you say? Uh, what'd you say, uh, Charlie? I said, I've never had a shot in the wrist, but I've had it in my back and my knee many mm-hmm. times. Yeah, and has it been painful? No. 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 This, this is, uh, I had this twice in the same area, yeah. okay, in the last couple of years. Mm. And both times, it just hurt like a beast. In the knee, in the knee I, had, I pulled the tore a meniscus. Me too. And, well, I and that t- hurts I t- a, a lot. I tore I my... Out of the no. shower. It hurt a lot. Yeah. And I got, every three months, I got a cortisone shot in that knee and... The first time, the knee was killing me, so anything was better than... Yeah. And, uh, of course, they gave me some Percocet, too. Well, I had a torn meniscus. And, it hurts, doesn't and, it? And, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, well, and it just happened because I was sitting on the floor, and I guess I twisted my leg just in the right way, and, and I oh. tore the meniscus, and I went to the doctor... And he looked at it, and he said, you got a torn meniscus. And I said, what do we do about it? And he says, it's time for, um, uh, what do you call it, therapy? Um, physical, physical therapy. therapy. Physical therapy. And I went through physical therapy for it. And now mm-hmm. it, it just doesn't give me a bad time. I had it go out a little bit a couple of weeks ago, but just slightly, and then it came right. Everything was fine. Yeah. <clears throat> but... Uh, uh, yeah. you know, it was, it was pretty, it was pretty <coughs> painful, but I got out of the shower, I mm. just stepped out of the shower and I heard a loud pop around my knee. Oh. And the next thing I knew oh. I was in excruciate. I think yeah. I would have rather been kicked in the balls. Uh, there is, back. there is no, nothing that you can do to make it feel better at the moment. Right. right. You know, mm. uh, and, uh, I never had anything like that, you know? I mean, uh, come on. You're supposed to get a torn meniscus because you're sports. Right. You know, yep. and I, I, so I, I have not managed to hurt myself very badly. What this turns out, it was, I mean, and it was what it was last time, arthritis. Uh, mm. And he said, this is the most common place for people to get arthritis. Okay. Wow. So that was, that was cool. I'm um, on all those teams. Huh? I'm on all of those teams. Teams? Me? Arthritis and... Uh, so you have a little arthritis, hand. do you? Oh, yeah. You've yeah. you torn a meniscus, Jeff? Yep. Feels good, doesn't it? Well, anybody uh, anybody can tear a meniscus. Yeah. I know, yeah. but the therapy it goes on forever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, look at that. We have the invisible man visiting us here. <laughs> That's what happens. You know, that sometimes happens. Uh, here's a uh, here's a hint, Ray. Yeah. Just run your hand in front of your face. Really? It's not doing it's it, I, huh? It's because I say I have to green screen up and I don't. Uh, but you get the oh, green screen. Okay. There you, go. you got to check off the box in, uh, on Zoom that you have a green screen. Yeah, but sometimes uh, you have to turn it off that. and now click it again, it, the one that says green screen. Well, I don't have the green screen up. That's the thing. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So, so we get that kind of blurry <laughs> thingy, you know. You look normal. Huh? No, he's. If move your head a lot, and you'll show. Him. See, see that. Sure. But no, but you can. There. See, there. That, no, the that's thing. that's better. You know. Yeah. Why don't yeah. you? You just don't have your green screen up tonight. Well, I got a new one. Uh, I have to put it up. Really? Yeah, it has a stand and everything. Well, this one has a stand and it has like the, you know, the beams and so on. And I just, all I have to do is pull it up and down. See, folks? Yeah, I got one of There's, those. That's the magic of TV. Okay. Right, right. I can barely you know, hear you, I got you, one right? of those, but it was like a cheap Chinese knockoff and it was squeaking, so I returned it. Yeah. And then I got another one that was taller so I could stand when I do auditions. Yeah. Because uh, that one you have there, it does. It's only like six feet or five feet. Oh no, this thing is. Uh, this thing's. I think this is as tall as I am, if I want to do it. Oh, okay. But I, 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 don't have to see. I can bring it just down a little bit. I don't have to have it all the way. Oh, I wonder which one you got because I couldn't find one. That's this is a. Uh, it's called an Elgato. Yeah, the Elgato. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll see if I. It's really good. I mean, it it's uh, um, um, I, it, because all I do is I just pull this thing down after the show, and it goes into this thing, and then I just yeah, close it. Great. You know, I, I got a, I accidentally bought a Chinese knockoff Elgato. That's the thing, and I had yeah. to turn it because I could tell it wasn't going to last. Yeah. 
Um, uh, by the way, turn up your mic a little bit. You're, oh, okay. you're a little on the yeah. low yep. side. Yeah. 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 How's that? Is that better? Yeah, fine. Yeah. By the All way, right. Jeff, up in Connecticut, they say that what the rate of uh, shots and everything of vaccinations is like 80% or something. It's some incredible amount in Connecticut. Really? You have the best. Uh, I, I heard we have the highest percentage. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't. You're 80. I, somewhere around 80. Yeah, you, you, you're getting. Wow. Yeah, you're getting to herd immunity. I heard you have herd immunity. I yeah. joined it. I, 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 I have a feeling that, that I, I got, I got the shot three times and said you, just in case. You joined think, the herd immunity. I see. I think, I think herd immunity is kind of a joke. We're never going to get there. Really. And uh, you gotta, the rest of the world I, has to be up there, too, because we travel to other countries and they travel here. And so if we were the borders, of the United States was locked and we never left and they never came in, mm -hmm. then we could probably get herd immunity. Well, what happened to all the people that were watching? It, they're suddenly disappearing like crazy. They, they were interested really? in you and Phil. I was up around 38 people or something like that. And now it's down to 29. It was all the gun guys. Oh, <laughs> It's all what? I said it was all the gun people. Yeah, yeah. With Phil. Yeah. Did you hear what happened to the guy who's running, shooting in Colorado? Who runs yeah. the um, the government? Uh, not the government. The, the NRA. Uh, the NRA. Well, the NRA. Uh, a judge in Texas, That's I think scary. it was. Uh, Texas said that they couldn't file for bankruptcy. There's two of them. What? Who? Who's talking? That was my son talking behind me. I turned off my mic. Sorry. Okay. Um, it it uh, um, uh, they uh, they the judge uh, said uh, they can't file for bankruptcy. Right. You know. Texas just period. That, well, that, no, uh, that they, that means that here in New York, the state of New York can Proceed. charge them with what they're charging them with, and they can't file for bankruptcy to get out of it. Yeah. Oh, well, that's better than that. Yeah. You know, that's pretty good. I was happy when I saw that one. They're gone. Huh? NRA is history. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gone, uh, and and not you know not without good reason. For, for sure. You know, I think that uh, for years as an organization they were okay, because they simply represented some people who had a common. Interest, all right. Yeah, they, they've yeah. been around for years. Yeah, they were, they were founded on gun control. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. for you know, pe people to responsibly own and weapons. gun education and all of that. Yeah. And they violated that. I mean, the minute they went nuts. What happened was, uh, I don't think they were crazy until Charlton Heston. Yeah. And then when Heston came in, they you know, they suddenly became this religious organization. Yeah, it yeah. Uh, it was. Uh, well, they they were, they changed over and started taking money from the uh, gun manufacturers, mm -hmm. and that became their their interest. The manufacturers instead of the gun owners. Right, right. By the way, I just noticed somebody mentioned this on our uh, on our uh, uh, chat, uh, the annoying little chat we've got going here. Uh, and I thought I'd bring it up. I didn't know this had happened, but we today lost the oldest member of uh, oh, that's right. of the film industry, of sag after him. And that was, uh, I often have talked about him on this program, Norman Lloyd, died at 106. And um, he, if, if you don't know who Norman Lloyd is, folks, among other things, if you ever saw... The movie Saboteur, where a guy is hanging from the Statue of Liberty, and then he falls mm -hmm. off the Statue of Liberty yeah. uh, as his sleeve starts parting from his jacket that they're yeah. holding on to. That's Norman Lloyd. Yeah. And uh, he's been in films for years, and he, he directed a lot of the Hitchcock, uh, uh, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, and so on. He's been in our business forever. He just recently lost his medical coverage because the union in their 
doing away with our medical coverage, he was one of the people affected by it. So I, I'd like to blame SAG after now for the death of Norman Lloyd at 106 because he didn't have the proper amount of insurance. How's that? My fucking, yeah. my fucking. What happened? Forty-five thousand people a year. What? Forty-five thousand people a year die because they don't have health insurance. Oh, I, 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 just because they don't have health insurance. Only forty-five thousand? I would think it would be more. Well, that's that's what they estimate. No, I'm saying. They die just because they don't have health insurance. So right. they get sick, they don't go to the doctor in time, and so they end up dying from something that was perfectly curable. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Well, a lot of people don't go to the uh, don't go to the doctor uh, because they don't want to go to the doctor. You know, they're they're well, they can't afford it. Well, one of the reasons yeah. is they can't afford it. The other reason is is that they they have this mistaken idea. But if you don't go to a doctor, there's nobody to tell you you're sick. <laughs> you know? And by the time they get to the doctor, it's too late. Mm -hmm. You know? It's way too late. So, you know. Yeah, I mean, he, he was working all the way up into 2015. Yeah. Was he? Yeah. He did a movie uh, called Trainwreck in 2015. Really? Yeah. 106 years old. Wow. I, you know, the thing is, I, I, at my age, I don't know how long I'm going to live. But I somehow I want to live to be at least 100 because I was watching this documentary done by uh, uh, about SpaceX and about the plans to go to Mars and the timeline for going to Mars, which I think they have set as early as 2424 or 2425. Um, with, with humans? With humans, yeah. Really? Yeah. They're starting with you, Larkin. They're going to go. The first thing they're going to do is go to the moon. You and I will go together. I'd do it. I'd do there it. you go. Oh, I'd go in a second. You know? Oh, yeah. Well, have you seen the big ass rocket they have now? That big bulky one big they have. Big ass rocket, I like that. Huh? Yeah. Well, that's big the, ass rocket. I love it. The big ass rocket. It's the bar. Yeah. It's the bar. The big ass rocket. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it is. It is wonderful. And they say that they're going to send. You know, they're going to send like. They say they can make them for about five million a piece, and then send about. 20 of them or 30 of them to Mars immediately. That's nice. What happens when your one-hour oxygen tank runs out? Well, no. Then they then they go to Mars, uh -huh. and they land on Mars, and then they use the rockets as their places where they live until they can start building stuff. But the second half of the rocket is all the supplies they're taking to Mars. Oh, so they can go. build stuff, and they can, you know... So it, it did about the whole, the first 10,000 days on Mars and what would be accomplished. And eventually they would just have food being grown there and, uh, and uh, the beginning of, of enough oxygen on the planet so that that uh, plants can grow. I mean, it... it yeah, all that red soil has got oxygen in it. Yep, yep. So it's you know it's going to be uh, imported uh, uh, from Texas, and I'm just sad I'm not going to be around to see it. Probably none of us will be around to really see it, you know. But. Oh no, I I've, I've got two tickets. Yeah, I can take somebody. <laughs> I'll take Larkin. You going to so, take Larkin with you? Yeah, he's all right. Okay, maybe Jeffrey. Uh, you know, maybe I can get a third. Well, I don't want to be no. rude, but I think there may be a weight limit. Oh. <laughs> well, then I'm in trouble. Hey, speak for yourself. Yeah, yeah, I'm in trouble. Yeah, really. So uh, I thought maybe your your conversation with Bill would lead into that you're going to join him at Front Sight in Pahrump in a couple weeks. At Front Sight? Is that the name of the place? Yeah, Front Sight. Are you going? <laughs> no, but I'm a member. Oh, you're a member? Oh, it's a member only kind of thing? Isn't there a, um, a brothel in that town? There's Not a brothel in, in every town Las in Nevada. Vegas. Come yeah. on. Yeah, I guess that's true. I don't. I don't think in, that's in Clark County where Vegas is, and I don't think 
brothels have ever been legal. It's well, not like yeah, it is by uh, uh, brothels are allowed by county option. Yeah. So yeah, if, county like for instance, it. in Reno, you can't have a brothel because Washoe County doesn't allow it. Right. Okay, but right next to it is Sparks, Nevada, which is in, I can't remember what the name of the county is, and Humboldt? they, huh? I think it's Humboldt County. No, Humboldt's down in California. Okay, you're off the list, John. <laughs> I, I thought there was a there's a humble <laughs> no 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 i i'm i'm trying to remember the name hey, of the county i used to sell land in nevada <laughs> did you oh yeah <laughs> sure but anyway and and that's why you had the, uh, the mustang ranch for instance right. but you couldn't have it in the city limits of uh, 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 the county of washoe so it, right. it's it, like it, i think it's county. called i think it's called bullfrog county yeah but it's by county option yeah. My friend uh, Dennis Hoff, when he was still alive, had the Mustang Ranch. And it was up near Carson City, but it wasn't in Carson City because the county that Carson City was in did not vote for the option to have brothels. So he had his over the, over the county line in another county that said, hey, we don't make any money here. We welcome having some form of revenue. Right. So, so you should go to Pahrump with him. He's gonna stay at a at a, uh, I think it's a Motel Six, and he's got the suite. <laughs> the suite. I don't understand the suite thing. It's it's a step above that. It's a Hampton Inn. I think that he's staying at, but I think he's gonna have a sticker shock. It's no really tall around the retirement store. It's not the Bellagio. It's not a Five Diamond Hotel. <laughs> so. Uh, right. Yeah. So I think he's going to be surprised. So what happened to uh, what happened to Neary? He was here waiting to come on, well, and then no. he disappeared. Maybe he had a problem or something. He went to Clark County, got a hooker. It's Clark County. Is it okay? Yeah, Clark, oh, Clark County. You're right. Clark oh, County. Humboldt County is up by uh, Winnebe Winnemucca. Yes. Yeah, which they have a they have They're a on. brothel. In Winnemucca, too. Wait, there's a Humboldt County in Nevada? Yeah. Huh. Oh, okay. It's, it's up by um, it's up by Winnemucca. They got some funny names in that area. Winnemucca, Winnemucca. there's nothing there. Oh, my They're God. They're right after Indian tribes. Yeah. E e they got a casino. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, Humboldt County, there. Nevada. Oh, I'm sure. In Winnemucca, of course. Hmm. I was just there. In fact, how, how could you Winnemucca if there wasn't a casino there? <laughs> The casino, there's like three of them, and they're so run down. They're so yeah. run down and old. It's yeah, funny. Yeah. So, so is the uh, the brothels pretty run down. You should too. have seen the women so at the, the. You should have seen the women at the Mustang Ranch. <laughs> they're pretty run down too. Yeah. When I was in college, I went on a road trip with my roommate, and he's let's go to the Mustang Ranch. So I we went over there, and I'm not going in there. So I'm in the car waiting for him. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. We'd stayed up all night drinking, and he comes running out. Go, 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 go! He goes. They were so ugly. I couldn't pick pick one. I had to run out. And like the the dog was barking. Well, remember I, when got, I huh? remember when it got repossessed by the IRS, and yeah. they were running it. It was run by the government. Yeah, the United States <laughs> the government. IRS. They yeah. were running a yeah. brothel. Uh, <laughs> you know, but I mean, the thing was that um, um, I. Uh, it, uh, it, it went to the Mustang Ranch once with a friend, and he wanted to go there and do what you do at the Mustang Ranch. So I went in with him, and I'm sitting there waiting for him. And one of the women comes up and propositions me. Says, "Hi, you're Alex Bennett. You want?" <laughs> oh yeah, you can have a free yes. one because you're Alex Bennett. Right? That's right. I figured right, that. Right. No. So anyway, so I, I went. You know, this is one experience I've never had in my life. I've never done a prostitute before, so I'll give it a try. So I went into the room with her, and what did you get for ten dollars? It was a little more than that. I think it was twenty. Oh, okay. uh, uh, but no, it was it was. I felt the most uninteresting experience sexually I've ever had in my life. Really. Well, to begin with, it's just purely a business deal. Give me the money, I'll blow you. Oh, right, boy. 
that really, you know, they, that does and away with probably, any, any form of pursuit is out the window. But you she know. probably looked like Barbara Bush. Huh? She probably looked like Barbara Bush. No, no, she was, I can't even remember what she looked like. All I know is I just, uh, I can't remember, I did, I did have an orgasm, but I think she just blew me or something, and that was it, and I left, and I went, that's not even a sexual experience. You know, uh, no, no, on no level is it a sexual experience. Donald Trump experience. hookers are the thing, you know, that is a sexual experience for him. There are people that like it. I, you know, I used to talk, I've talked many times about my friend Paul, who used to love going, I, I would take him over to the Moonlight Bunny Ranch. And he would, he loved going there. And he would go in with the hooker and he would spend an hour in there. And then I would say to him, what happened? And he said, she took her clothes off, and we sat there and talked for an hour. They really don't like my dress. And, <laughs> and I said, uh, uh, you talk, just talk for an hour? You know, and it cost you like, cost them like 500 bucks. Wow. And, and he said, yeah. He says, I just talk. And I said, why? I said, he said, it's not about the sex. It's about the power. Huh. So, I mean, oh, what? What? Who's yelling, God damn it? Yeah, that's my. Is that, I can hardly hear him, but you we hear, can him hear him. I'm we can sorry. hear him. <laughs> sorry. There's been conversation for the past sorry. five seconds. Disown him, okay? Is he playing video games? Yes. Oh, see. I see. With that's his it. friends, and he's yelling at them and shit. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the only way to play video games. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so I mean, uh, I, and I, I, I went there. God, I went to the Moonlight Bunny Ranch maybe ten, fifteen times in my lifetime, and I was always offered uh, a cut rate deal on anybody I wanted in the house. In other words, he'd give up the house's take on it, uh, and I said thank you very much, but no. And he was always amazed by that. He said, "Alex, my friend Alex, never takes me up on the offer." And I, yeah. the reason I never took him up on the offer is I never found anything sexy about it, you know. So, when you're 19, when the wind blows, you're sexy. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but the wind. When you get a little older, different story. What do you mean? I, I mean when when you know when I when I was 19, I got a hard on when the wind blew. But yeah, but I you was... don't need a hooker then. Right. All when you I need is a good breeze. All you need is a good breeze. When I was 25, if I wanted to get propositioned, I'd stop somebody in a traffic stop that was good looking. <laughs> They'd say, "Officer, could I give you a blowjob in exchange for a ticket?" And I say, "Can't do it, but it's a good ah. fantasy." So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just, I just, I, you know, Sorry. but I mean, I always just found it a, a non-starter when it came to a sexual experience. As as much into rack as you are, I mean, come on, Alex. As much into rack as I am, what? racks. The racks. You're always boobs. talking about the boobs. women's racks. The boobs. The boobies. The well, you mean really large ones? Is that what you're talking? I don't know about? what you like. You haven't said. You just know that you like nice racks. I like nice, well-formed breasts. Okay. Good. Okay. You know, um, nice. they don't have to be huge. No. Oh, okay. You know. But they have to be substantial. Do they have to be real? Or can it be uh, silicone? I'd prefer they were real. But, you know, I, w listen, I, you know, I, I, I don't think that I ever... That's never been a qualification for me. <laughs> you know? Don't you hate when you find out... No, it's whether I found the person... Se it's whether I found the person sexy or not. Yeah. You know? Okay. Uh, so So... You know, I could say, what is my type? I could tell you what my type is. My type is about five foot three, has short brunette hair, nice breasts, and you know, okay. Now you've all you've, you, you, you've all you've all background. you've all seen Kathleen on this show, right? Like Does she meet any of those? To begin with, she's six feet tall. <laughs> she's blonde. Okay, so I mean. But I, I enjoyed being with her. I enjoyed spending time with her. So it, it, it really, in spite of the fact you say you have a type, sometimes the person that you're having a good time with, you're enjoying having uh, spending time with, it fits none of that 
category, yeah. you know. I mean, Marjorie is much more my type, you know. And, 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 but the women I always liked were always shorter, on the shorter side. With, with Kathleen, do you think that it was because she had a big bull whip with her that you didn't like her? <laughs> that I, what do you mean that I didn't like her? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like Kathleen a lot. She's I know, a good I, I person. meant sexually. Great person, great person. She's, she sounds very nice. I, you know, I had a, you know, she was, she was like one of the guys. I mean, she really, you know. You got to go to Pahrump to the Phil shooting school, and you'll learn how to shoot a gun. Really? Phil has, Phil has a shooting school now? Phil is going to a shooting oh, school. Going to a, if you listen to vacation. the yeah, if you listen to the first half hour, I can't listen to him. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, 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 I yeah. well, apparently some people can because we have more people listening to us when I had him on yeah. than the rest of the show. I, I think it's figure. because I know him, and like I have, I like he's friends <clears throat> with me, and he's like totally cool. But then he gets on your show, and he complete becomes a complete a hole. And I just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. kind of true. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I, I I just think that you would learn. What? You you'd learn how to shoot a gun. You'd learn right from wrong. You'd learn. But I don't care. Don't I don't. I, I, I it, it, guns 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 guns, guns scare me, and I so I have no reason to even want to have one in my hand. Okay. You know. I mean. All right. Yeah. Well, let's find out now where uh, where. Let's take a guess where Trucker Steve is tonight. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. In Trucker Winnemucca. Steve. Winnemucca. Yeah. It, yeah. I don't know. Can I bunk for I was there, but not today. What? What did you say? I was in Win Winnemucca on the weekend, but not today. Oh, uh -huh. so he was in Winnemucca. Mm -hmm. So we know now. Are you coming back to Canada? Yeah, I'm going home. So no. you, so I would say, Baker, huh? I know, I know. Baker, Nevada. We get every time. No, I don't think he's in Nevada anymore. I'd say he's in Close. Illinois. Close. Close. Oh, oh Iowa. 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 Okay, I was Iowa. gonna, I was gonna say that my wow. second choice was gonna be Indiana. Iowa, Indiana. Uh, I actually, I in. I should have been in Illinois, but my truck broke down yesterday. So I had some uh, electrical issues. Oh, really? Did you fix it yourself? No, I had to go to Kenworth to get it fixed. Oh, jeez. Wow. Yeah, I was there for s seven hours. Oh, wow. mm. oh. When when your when truck goes bad like that, can you get it fixed fast? Uh, sometimes no. Sometimes you can. You have to maybe. Kenworth sometimes is so busy they you can, you can wait for days. Oh really? Yeah. So they they put you up in a hotel. The company you work for. You yeah, and they, they can. Yeah. You and Rocky. Do we have electric uh, semis yet? Tesla is supposed to be making an electric semi. Uh, you know, apparently JB Hunt, Walmart, and uh, Schneider National. A few companies have bought them, but I have yet to see one on the highway. So I I have no idea if they're they've been ordered or they're even been manufactured yet. Where the hell would you charge one of those things up? Big charger. And how long would it take? Yeah. Uh, so they said a full charge was like a few hours. Really? Here's, yeah, here's, like 500 miles. here's why I, I'm not that hot on the full electric automobiles. Is how long does it take it, it take to charge one up, the average car? And once you've miles. charged it up, how long is it good yeah. for? How many miles is it good for? Well, the more expensive ones will go pretty damn far now. Yeah. Really? But, I mean, yeah. what's, what's far? Uh, like what? 300 and something miles. Really? That, you know, if I'm traveling across the United States, 300 miles is, I'm going to do more than That's that. Like in a given day. Day. But how often are you going to do that? Right. Like, are you, I don't know. Let's but say, you can charge okay. it like in an hour and a half. Okay, or let, an hour, let, let's, or say, a half hour. let's say I want to go up to, to Reno from San Francisco yeah. and back drive. again. 
That's more than four hours in each direction. Yeah, and then how long does it take for it to charge up so I yeah. can go back? Isn't it isn't it really fast on the fast chargers now? Isn't it like yes. Yes. thirty so the, minutes or something? So okay. the Tesla charging stay I guess they I don't know what they call them, superchargers along the side of the road, forty minutes. Yeah. From a dead battery for the big for the big cars, for fancy cars, the the X and the S vehicle. And they go about 350, 400 miles. Really? Really? Okay. Well, that, that's a, okay. I, I mean, I have a couple mm -hmm. friends that have I pull them. over. I'd have, have lunch. Yeah, I was going to say you have lunch or breakfast. Yeah. I, I imagine they're near diners and things like that, you know. Probably. And you just plug them right in. So Tesla has put these things up around. Yeah. Right? And they're all over the place around here because this is Tesla land. They're in parking lots and all kinds right. of places. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, the doctor's in, office, you can get your car charged at the same time. I see him in the bank by me. There's a charger by the Master Federal Bank. My brother pulled in, and there's a charger there. Like, they have an extra charger for the car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what's his name was on Saturday Night Live? Um, Musk. Musk. Elon Musk. I didn't see him. Yeah, uh, yeah this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, you know, I've come to the feeling that Elon Musk is going to go down in history as a great man. I mean, I think you're going to find airports named after him, spaceports named after him. I mean, what he's doing right now is doing, I mean, the, NASA, you know, they sent somebody up, they sent, brought somebody down, right? They put up a space station, they started doing NASA hauling and shipping. You know, they would go up and put satellites up there for people and do mm -hmm. things like that. But they didn't do anything to advance the whole thing. By the time we went to the moon, we should have then had our eyes on going further. But we didn't. We stopped at that. And we never went back. It's like 40 years later, we never went back. 50 years later, we never went back to the moon. Because the politicians made the yeah. decisions. Yeah. Well, it's also these dumb people saying, we have enough problems here on Earth. Why we right. got to solve those before we send somebody to the moon. Well... Our future is in space, okay? But anyway, here's a guy who comes along, who grew up as a kid loving this stuff, who is now with his, uh, uh, what, what's the disease he has? Um, Asperger's syndrome. Asperger's syndrome. Mm -hmm. Is going to be winding up sending us to Mars. He's going to do the whole thing and get us to Mars. Mm -hmm. He's going to get us to the moon. This is well, this is going to be he's going to wind up being one of the greatest visionaries in American history. A lot of in world history. A lot of visionaries have had Asperger's syndrome. Uh, they're pretty sure Isaac Newton had it. Really, uh, Einstein, Nikola Tesla, Nikola Tesla, Tesla. 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 The, the God, mm -hmm. I mean, the car's named after him. He's the Godfather, the Godfather, the father of alternating current. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Tesla was a genius. Absolutely. Uh, you know, hundreds of patents. And and the only uh, the, the only thing that screwed him over was Edison. Yep. You know. Well, Edison wanted direct current, and Tesla said alternating current's better. Mm -hmm. Right. And he was right. And so and so, uh, Edison showed how bad alternating current was. They took. A couple of chimpanzees and hooked them up to it and killed them while they were alive. Oh no! Worse than that. Worse than that. First of an all, elephant. an elephant. But right, what else? On, what you else? Can Google it on YouTube. But what else to prove that that alternating current was dangerous? What is Sasquatch? <clears throat> no, Edison created the electric chair. Uh, that's right. Yes, I forgot. That's right. And he, he was in it for the money, man. Well, it's also Edison Electric is the founding company of General Electric. Yeah. Uh, not that I like General Electric, but I mean, I, you know, Edison was, you know, early mm -hmm. in the early days of General Electric, some of the broadcast equipment said General Electric Edison or Edison General mm -hmm. Electric, a friend of mine used to. Well, the thing it. was that Edison wanted to put uh, DC, AC out of business in right. favor of his DC. The only problem with his direct current you could only send it about a mile before it That's had right. to have another station to send it another mile. That's Whereas right. alternating, alternating current could go 20 miles before you had to do that at 30 miles. 
Not much farther. Yeah. Thomas and so Edison he. Used, so so. What did you say? Thomas Edison used to work at a train station in my hometown. Oh really? In Stratford, Ontario. Really. There's a plaque at the old train station there with his name on it. Wow. Hmm. Wow. Well, the thing was, uh, 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 well, Edison wasn't quite the genius he wanted people to say he was. Uh, he had money, though. He had a good name. He had, he had, he went out. He was a publicity-seeking guy. Mm -hmm. And he, he made out good money-wise. Nikola yeah. Tesla died a poor man. Well, I mean, but Tesla was also forced out. You know, yep. do you want to know the other guy? I'm trying to remember his name now. It was invented in San Francisco. The guy who invented television was an RCA. Philo, Philo, Philo. Uh, uh, Philo T. Farnsworth. Yeah, yeah. Philo T. Farnsworth. And if you're in San Francisco, you go, there's a building in San Francisco <laughs> with, uh, here is where television was invented yeah. in something like 1919. Wow. Uh, and it wasn't until close to the time of his death that he was finally honored with having been the man who created television. Wow. Because up until that time, Sarnoff over at RCA wanted you to think he had invented it. And he hadn't, you know. So, but I mean, a lot of these people got ripped off by people who were more wily and good at getting publicity. Uh, uh, Edison said he invented the movie camera, right? No, it was a guy in England by the name of, oh, what was his name? Kodak. Huh? Huh? Kodak, I was the joking. Kodak, yeah. No, it was somebody else in, in, in England uh, who invented it. And um, <clears throat> he, uh, uh, in England, if you go to England and you say, who invented motion pictures? They say that guy. They don't say Edison. Uh, well, well, Edison it was able to get a lot because he had a lot of money. Yeah. I think the, it, the light bulb, you got to give him credit for. You know, he lit up the world. Okay. That's right. Nobody, he didn't steal it from anybody. Yeah. He came up with it. And he also came up with the uh, phonograph. He showed off his first light bulb, uh, uh, thousands of them, at one time at a World's Fair, I think in New York or upstate Some, New York. Something mm -hmm. like that. I yeah. thought it was Uncle Fester. I guess I'm yeah. wrong. But <laughs> he <laughs> light bulb in his right. mouth. Yeah. yeah. Hello, Brian. How are you? We saw you earlier, and then you disappeared. I know. I tease you. That's all. Oh, really? He <laughs> fell yeah. asleep during the Phil and Alex comedy hour. Yeah. yeah. I was busy doing some stuff, so I was trying to wedge it in. Yeah. I bet well, you were. That's okay. <laughs> hey! That's what wow. she said. Come on. Boom, boom. One of my close friends in elementary school was Jeff Renati, but he had two T's in, in his name. Are you two kidding two? me? No. R-E-N-A-T-T-I? Yeah, Jeff Renati in Redwood City. How strange. Okay. Yeah. He's a convicted huh. sex offender now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I uh, bet my name, my real last name is Schwarzman. And um, every now and then I see the name somewhere, but nobody spells it like I do. They spell it with one N, not two N's. And some spell it with a T. Like there's Jason Schwartzman. Right? right. right? Uh. You know? Um, but I remember in San Francisco there was a dentist, a painless dentist. <laughs> it said painless <laughs> dentist. Remember those guys? You remember yeah. those years ago? Do you, do you remember them, uh, Jeff? No? No. They used to call them, they, on the West Coast, they had a guy by the name of Painless Parker. Yeah, and your, your friendly first, credit dentist. Right, okay. My first dentist, his last yeah. name was um, Payne. P-A-Y-N-E. Okay. Dr. Payne. Do you still, uh, I used That's to call unfortunate. Pain. What were you saying, Tony? I used to cry in a dentist office. My mother used to have to come in the room. It's not going to hurt. It always hurts. <laughs> when they used to give you that needle to numb you, oh, I couldn't take it. I don't yeah. know. It depends on the dentist. I've had dentists who give a very painless shot. He was know? Dr. Gould, I think his name. Yeah. yeah the, nowadays, the needles are so, uh, so you know, small, they, they barely even hurt at all. Yeah. Plus, they put that Novocaine stuff on, or that stuff that numbs you first. Yeah. Right. 
but if, if you have a good dentist, they numb, they do a little bit of Novocaine on the on the surface yeah. of the skin is what John's talking about. Yeah. And then they insert the needle and you don't even feel it. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Obviously your doctor is a sadist there, Tony. Mm -hmm. It is when you're small and because I didn't close but you you know when you see the needle coming at you, yeah, I just couldn't get comfortable in I was my first dentist, who was a friend of the family's. She used to be in the I went up. to get my first cavity filled at uh, I think it was I was like 18 and he said you don't need any, you don't need any, you don't need any Novocaine really well if you don't have to if really if you don't have to drill near a nerve it's only a surface kind of cavity mm -hmm. there's no mm -hmm. reason for Novocaine oh, but really? the reason they give it to people is so that they will think that they're not going to feel anything but you wouldn't feel anything anyway. You feel vibration. That's about it. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, when you, when you got when Same. you were eighteen and got your first dental visit, they didn't have high speed drills like they do now. Well, they did, but they had to pump them with their foot. No, no, no. They, they had electric. <laughs> if you remember, it had a cord that ran. Oh, I remember. Oh. It, it 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 was a. How can I put it? It was a weird contraption. Yeah, you're right. It had all Made those by a belts. Company called Ritter. R I T T E R. Really? Yeah, they still make medical stuff. But uh, uh, yeah, that, they had low speed drills compared to today. I mean, the the drills today that are ran by air and uh, water cooled, mm -hmm. uh, they're moving at like 30, 40,000 uh, RPMs, much faster than the old days. The old days, there was no way they could have ever developed something yeah. like that. Yeah. So. It used to take so long, the drilling. Now it's like, boom, they're done. Yeah. 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 But by the uh, way, the Tony, notice, notice, uh, notice Ray's background. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, it's an honor, Tony. What can I say? <laughs> I like it. I mean, I'm going to put my green screen up, though, so my head. I'm thinking about up. getting a Ouija board, Alex. <laughs> oh, I just saw the screen. That's lovely, Ray. That's <laughs> I'm going to let you go uh, him down with that. You I like the big, I like behind Tony and behind you, uh, there's a, a big, like, it looks like a wet spot on the, on the uh, a big circle where there's a wet spot. Yeah. Alex, you know, I'm afraid. Oh, I, Ray, if my if I rip the wallpaper down, I'm afraid she's gonna haunt me. <laughs> my brother's like, we're doing it. I said, but we gotta figure would, out what we're gonna do. With the I room. would do it if I were you, man. I no. can't do it. I don't think I will. But we, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I may mean, leave it all. You know what's great is like I took this picture so many months ago, and the curtain uh, is like folded over still exactly the same. My sister exactly. came up with a little bit, but I mean, this I don't know, she's got shit in here. Like, forget it. Well, no, if this if, woman if, saved if, everything, Alex, if I'm you take saying, the wall, the cross, cross is in the drawers under her clothes. I don't oh, know. Wait, but now, I, will you explain something to me? Because Shecky mentioned this to me. Did yeah. You said oh. you, you want to bring him over some holy water. You know why? She's got so many vials. It's like a picture of the Pope with the water in it, blessed from the when my brother went to Italy. It's supposed to be. She said, "I remember good luck if you put it in the house." Really? I gave him a little statue, but she had so many statues. So I said, "Here's little." And like every, she had statues everywhere. Little like God. I wish I had the Catholic concession in your neighborhood. Jeez, Alex, I'm telling you, I opened her drawer. I felt bad. She had, you know, what I found. I found an old picture of Brooklyn or the Bronx of my grandfather tucked under her drawer. I don't know. He was by a movie. Well, what was he doing being tucked under her drawer? She had photos. Oh, photos. I I expressed to her, "That's poppy." I said, "Really? I don't. I don't remember." Yeah. Well. Uh, what is it, hey, Tony? If you if you take down the wallpaper, this is what's going to happen. Man. She's going to curse me. <laughs> She's going to come back. She she will come back in my, in my dreams and just like you got to put that up. She'll oh, haunt me. I'm thinking so, about getting a Ouija board and trying to contact her. I'm hey, Tony, to where, where um, Tony, where where do you live? Where do you live in New York, Queens? Yeah, Queens. I'm actually uh, Queens Middle. I'm close to Middle Village. Ray, I'm only like ten minutes from Brooklyn. By car. Okay, so because my grandparents grew up in San Francisco, but they moved there from Italy, and their accent is ex was exactly like yours. Really? And they, lived in, and they lived in the Outer Mission. So I, it, and there were other Italians there. It could be like an that. extension of an Italian accent. I would say that Italians all, all throughout the country probably had the same a similar yeah, accent. Because Shecky doesn't talk like me, Alex. Shecky, yeah, Shecky is an exact. Italian. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but, but he's like, from Queens. Yeah, that's true. I, mean, I can Thank talk. Like, <laughs> draw. It, everything is like 
it's like that's how she talked. To begin and with, she was from he's, he's yeah. from Queens, but he's from Jamaica, Queens. Yeah. Uh, which is the home of who? Donald Trump. Trump. Every time I what we drive that's past his house. Alex, I'm not impressed with that house. It looks kind of creepy. Well, no, that was the original. Uh, yeah. home. Well, actually, it was the second home. The original home is in yeah. back of that. Yeah, home. the second one. But well, then the that one. The second one is where they filmed the Amityville uh, horror. Act. Yeah, right. I I don't know. I'm not impressed with it. Like you know, there's other nicer houses in the area. Says it doesn't do anything for me. No, it's a, it's an uh, it, it you know it's uh, hey look we're a rich home. You know. you know what I was going to ask you? Do you think the father back then would have had a, a, a house a little bit nicer looking? You know, it's on a main street. Did you we know ever say that this family had taste? You're right. That's what it is. Come on. He was, he was lonely, right? You would think yeah, he had like an you know, island or somewhere. What were you I gonna, uh, that his father was a contractor okay. and in bed with the mob. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. John, do you, yeah. you want to say something about that? Yeah. What? That you wanted to say something about that. Yeah, I said his old man was a tightwad, and he also was involved with the mob. Well, right. uh, in all deference to him, okay, uh, if you built anything in New York, you had to be associated you with the mob. You, in yeah. other words, you had to deal with the mob, That's okay, right. to get stuff built. Didn't mean sure. that you were a mob, but you had to mob. deal with them, you had to accommodate them. Yeah, no doubt. So, uh, uh, Charlie, you say that we have the least deaths uh, today hmm? that we've had so far? He's asleep. Charlie? Oh, no. Charlie, wake up for crying out loud. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was yeah, asking... You noticed in a couple minutes I, I was, going, off. I was yeah. asking you a question uh, about we okay. have the l least deaths we've had in a long in time. A long time, yeah. The, 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 the infection rate's going down, too. It's only like 30,000 a day. Really? Yeah, really. Somebody, somebody said yeah. that you said that they're closing Canada again. Is that true, Steve? Uh, Ontario was in lockdown. I was supposed to be done in a couple of weeks. But oh, I'm not sure what our idiot premier is going to do. Yeah. I know in Alberta they went. Uh, I think they went into lockdown again. Yep. Oh. Yeah. yeah. We heard. we've had a slight uptick here in New York. Very minor, but still an uptick here in but New York. But they are starting to vaccinate more people. Good. Uh, yeah. Finally. Yeah. No Good. Time. They say that thirty percent of the public says they don't want to get vaccinated. Yeah. And I say to I, them, then don't let them into a restaurant, don't let yeah, them into a right. baseball game, don't let them go to movie theaters. Take their passport away from no them. Swimming pool. Yeah, yeah. Don't let don't let yeah. them travel to foreign countries. You well, know. Should make us show our cards or something. I got a way to get people vaccinated. Mm -hmm. Why don't you make it that uh, they can't file for a tax return or get a check if they, when they file their return? You, you could do a lot of things like that, yeah, you know. Skip them of that. Oh, I mean, we're not, we're skip them of their work benefits. Yeah. Do, yeah. do I have a, a quick minute here? So I, I, we're I just, just quick. Thirty seconds. Of, what? Found this out over the the past weekend. Why can't the U.S. government order vaccinations for everybody? The reason is because the vaccine hasn't been approved. It's only under an emergency authorization. Once Pfizer or Moderna gets the regular, from the FDA, the regular approval, then the government will be able to order people to take it. Oh, okay. Uh, rather. All right. Well, you know, yeah, I mean, I, I just think it's, it's, it's important that if you, want, if you want to be a patriot, that you get the... Uh, the Wait, uh, Bill got an extra yeah. six minutes. How come we don't? <laughs> you want an extra six minutes? Okay, but uh, uh, Bishop will let me have it, you know. No, okay. He's not on Zoom yet, is he? I hope By the he way, is. if you can draw that cartoon, you can win a scholarship. <laughs> you know that, you? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah really, exactly. That's that's the that's the that's the, the tur guide or something? Uh, turtle. Oh, it? Yeah. Hey, thank you very much, Alan. Good having you here, uh, Trucker Steve. Uh, safe driving wherever you're going next. Uh, Charlie Wallace, stay awake for uh, Jack Bishop, or he'll try. he'll be he'll miss that you. That was funny. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, thank you so much, uh, John Larkin, and thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Ray Renati. Thank you, Tony, and Brian. Glad you could join us finally. It's already over. Come on. Yeah. Right, we're well, out of here. Yes. 
You know, there is a show yeah, after show me. You can time. call it if you Warriors. want to. No, I can't call it. <laughs> anyway, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go. There's our citizen panel. Uh, let me just hang up on them here so we can... Uh, yeah, there they go. Okay, hey, listen, Jack Bishop is next. He's here with the intersection over most of the same gap net. Uh, his... Uh, phone is he will be using skype and you use gabnet live is the address to get to him we'll see you again tomorrow night 10 30 same time same station in life there's a sports show on before us tomorrow night and in the meantime as always if you see her tell her i love her and please do yourself a favor if you haven't done it get a vaccination continue wearing the mask for the time being and be safe out there. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>